So if I have a part drawn and I need to make it smaller. There's a scale button on here. So what I want to do, it's easiest if you have the part drawn where it's touching the X line and the Y line. And the reason I like having that drawn there is because when I scale it, I could actually watch my scales on the bottom and the left hand side of the screen to give me a good idea of how big that part's going to be. Um, so what you want to do is select your whole part. You have this scale button up here right in between, in between trim and offset. Click on scale. Um, point and factor uh, is the easiest one to use. You, uh, you basically, we're going to tell it a uh, percentage of how much to scale it up or down. So what you want to do, since we have this drawn at the X and Y line, uh, wherever you click next is where it's going to scale from. So if I click on this origin, origin point, you'll see that my scale factor now becomes blue. I could decrease this or increase it. You can see it gives me a little preview of what the part's going to be, the scale. Since I clicked on that origin point to scale it from, it's easy to watch the scales on the left-hand side and the, um, the bottom. So I had an 8-inch OD. I want to make that 4-inch OD. So I'll just say scale it down to 50%. You can see it snaps down to this 4-inch line and this 4-inch line. Click Enter or the green check mark to accept it, and it locks it down to 4-inch OD. It scales the whole part, so if, you're scale, if you have uh, certain bolt hole sizes that you need, it's going to scale those down too. I started at 3 quarter inches, uh, now those bolt holes are uh, 3 eighths inch. Uh, 